Adelaide's tourism industry is bouncing back with hotels enjoying a 13% jump in visitors. After our best January in eight years, the momentum is continuing ahead of next week's Tasting Australia Festival. The once sleepy city of churches is waking up. Adelaide hoteliers have enjoyed more visitors early this year than the same time last year, with festivities in January, February and Mad March luring tourists from as far away as the US, UK and China. We had the most flights ever, uh, international flights, into Adelaide in January. Of course, Lonely Planet named Adelaide one of the top ten cities in the world to visit in 2014. Definitely say our occupancy levels have been considerably higher this year. It's the same at the Stamford Plaza, which credits the expanded Adelaide Convention Centre for new guests and the revamped Adelaide Oval for a wave of new diners. It makes the start of the football season that's done fantastically well on the weekends as well, which is traditionally been a slower dining period for us in this in this vicinity here. Both the Intercontinental and Stamford are almost fully booked for Taste in Australia, which starts tomorrow. Thousands of foodies expected to swarm into Town Square for workshops, tastings and demonstrations. And so it's really focused on our food, our wine, um, and beer and cider and all of the stuff we do well, as well as our chefs. For the next eight days, revamped Victoria Square will become the festival's new home, with organisers hoping to achieve a distinctly local flavour. And we've put the producer above the chef for this festival. They're the real food heroes. Justine Orvey, Nine News.